I'd like to ask everyone to please remain seated throughout the show. Please keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times, and for the safety of our cast, please refrain from the use of flash photography and external video lighting. Now that we've taken care of business, let's talk about me. My name's Allie, and I'll be taking you on your magical journey into the movies. It's a perfect job for me because I love movies. Is everybody ready? Great, because the cameras are ready to roll. Ready when you are, CB.
couple of red lights. Maybe I won't get hate. Now, what is this? Jay-Z? And now, the old West and two of Hollywood's legendary stars, Clint Eastwood and John Wayne. Sleepy little bag, ain't it? So, that's a mighty tough territory you're heading into, Pilgrim. <laughs> I think you're about turning back at the other two. That is a one of my opinions. Cliff, it's a perfect time for me to collect up all your valuables. The star with the jewelry, the loot to the hard cash. <laughs> there it is! It's the red one! I don't even like this thing! Oh my god!
anything could happen in the movies. Now let's get on with the show. Ew. the jungle home of one of the greatest characters of all time. And no, it's not George of the Jungle. Actually, it's Tarzan, portrayed over here by Johnny Weissmuller. And over here, we have the lovely Marino Solomon as James, and the lovely and talented Cheetah as herself. But he had some tough competition for the title role in his first feature film. When casting for the 1932 version, Tarzan the Ape Man, the producer seriously considered a young, unknown actor by the name of Clark Gable. But the future one by their last the role, because the director didn't think he was muscular enough.
waiting for you to discover. And here are just a few of my favorites.